Well, look at there. We got us a race four wheeler finally. That'll fit in the trailer and not take up a bunch of space. We got tire racks. We got a push bar with a shock and spring in it. Oh, yeah. We're ready. We're ready. I think that's for looks. And we got us a tire washer. Yeah. By the way, those tires, uh. Are smaller, ain't they? Yeah. Is that easier to wash? Is that what the deal is? Yeah, just Less easy. tire to scrub? Start running these. Yeah, there you go. Run narrow tires. They're so easy to get. <laughs> yeah. No, we, uh, I guess we're doing a little something different this weekend, or Joseph is. Jesse's doing his usual, same old, same same old stuff. Street stocking. Street stocking. Yep. Going after the money. Let me pull my chair up. Oh, anyway, Joseph is driving a street stock. Those are Crate Racing USA street stock tires. H500s, is that what they're called? Yep. They, uh, apparently they're hard to get right now. But we got us some right here. We're washing up. Should get the job done. It's 3,000 to win in the Crate Racing USA Street Stock Series uh, Division at Deep South Speedway this Saturday night. Uh, they're also running the 602 Sportsman, so Jesse's going to take his car. And Joseph's going to run uh, a fella, his name is Michael Williams, number 19, Crate Racing USA Street Stock. He got with Joseph, wanted him to drive it, so Joseph's going to get behind the wheel of it, try to get the big money, the 3,000, and then Jesse will be running the 602 as well is this it right here that's it right there right there ready to be that worked on the rig car. <laughs> go check it out here we are high roller he's supposed to be the fast street stocks right yeah Does it sound like your motor, Jesse? Uh, somewhat. <laughs> That's what it is. It's okay. Motor roll like yours. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse makes like 600 watts. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <no. laughs> so, run, put it where you want it. Okay, now we should be able to tighten this bag up. <laughs> Are right, you all in there? I'm all in here. That took longer than expected. Well, hey, it's right. <laughs> you know. Hey, hey, look, it's a butler built seat, too. Look at there. <laughs> Finally got our seat in. <laughs> for everyone, came. Asking, for everyone asking. All right, so these two both got tire work to do. We'll get in here, give you an update on Jesse's car. We got some work to do to it, get it ready. Uh, but we got to get these tires mounted up and ready to go first. Okay, I've had enough of street stocks already. Look at that mess. Ain't even a car here. Are they always this messy? Anyway, Joseph's gonna have to handle the tires. Me and Jesse did the late model tires in like five minutes. And then we spent an hour doing Joseph's. By the way, look at that fresh rubber for Jesse right there. Right, so this hot rod, we went, we ran it at Why Not. Jesse ran it at Why Not Saturday night. Remember we took both cars. Joseph finished fifth, Jesse finished third. So now we're coming back local here, heading an hour up the road saturday to deep south weekly show for this class so we got to get our deep south set up back on it mainly that means we got to change the gear definitely got to change the gear uh joseph and jesse gonna have to put the springs on the machine and go through those get our loads and all um what else you got to do we're gonna change the oil oh okay well, that ain't much. it's been a few races probably four probably yeah. three or four races so sounds about right all right you get the gear out i'll narrate the video okay well you get to drive the car so you know, you get that I mean, bonus. If you wanted to. Are you gonna let me drive it? 
All right, so change of plans. Jesse's just gonna crew. I'll run the video again. Nah, ha, ha. honestly, I trust you to do a better job, job, job driving the car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we gotta put our deep south gear in. Just one thing about those uh, street stocks, they don't have quick changes. They don't really change gears because it's too dang hard. Yeah. Think. Boom! Hey, one thing about them yeah, them street stock tires, you know when they, they go when they get to be on the bead. Next up is an oil change. Hey, you got your uh, mm -hmm. plug out of the, yeah, you're good, never mind. What? Yeah, 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 I got that. I, I drained oil out of something the other day and I had the, had the plug in there. And it didn't drain, did it? Well, it almost made a mess, but I realized it just in time and reached in there and got it out. So, could have been a lot worse than it was. So always check to make sure you got the plug out so that it's supposed to. I'm talking about minimum. Minimum mess. Minimum mess. Ooh, that wasn't as bad. That's a new tire. Yeah. Good wheels. Good wheels. Yeah. So interesting thing, they just changed this week to allow for grooving and siping of these tires. So whereas this tire, you size it up and you're good. Instead, now Joey gets to spend an hour working on it, I guess, for even inside. Yep. Oh joy. Yeah. The, uh, these tires, these three stock tires, H500s, they have a, Hoosier's having a tire shortage and that's one of the ones that are really hard to get right now. So the sanctioning bodies and tracks figure they'll let us groove and sipe them and that'll uh, allow us to get more life out of them since we're having a hard time getting tires. You ain't got a mess on the end though, do you? Nah. My whole bunch of metal? Just a normal. Normal. Normal's good. R51. Wait. Yeah, that's the, it's R. The, All right. I got everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an O. We're good. Thank you to our friends at the Jasper Napa. Got us some oil and, and a filter ready to go. Just gotta put my camera down so I can get it out of the plastic. Hey, what are you doing? I'm throwing the wrench down. Hey. Mm. Hey, that was a little tight, wouldn't you say? Hey, you could spray your eyes. Oh, actually, it's the, it's the, it's the, get the, uh, I'm hitting the transmission or the bell housing with okay. the thing. Okay, okay. It wasn't actually the filter. Oh, you want to remind them while we remind them? Always get and make seal. sure the rubber comes off with the filter. Yeah. See, would have made a mess if we'd have stuck this other one on. Good eye, Jesse. There's our Rotella. Rotella! Is that what that is here, Jesse? Pamela. No, what is the mm -hmm. Ricola, but Ricola. The office is Pamela. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, we run Rotella in our crate motors. I don't know how many times y'all been like, I can't believe y'all do that. Well we do. And it works. Believe it. Yeah. Hey Jesse! What? What's your Vegemite still doing here? Oh yeah, we gotta eat that. Uh, no, ain't no weed to it. Yeah, that came for you. Somebody know. sent Jesse some of this stuff. Are we Dude, even sure who sent it? Uh, I think it's Brain Bucket at Capital. Uh -huh. Or, I'm sorry, Hank at Capital. Yeah. All right, well, anybody ever had any of this? I was told you gotta put it on toast. Okay, well, we got a toaster in the house, so we can make this happen. I guess it's not good, is that what it is? We've never had this. I'm not saying it ain't good. That's something very famous in, in Australia. Australia. We're gonna find out. We ain't Australian, but we I think it's like sweet this. tea in the south. You know, it ain't in the north. It's an acquired taste. No, it ain't sweet tea. It's just good. 
They don't, why don't they have it in the north? Because they don't know what good is. Why don't y'all have sweet tea in the north? Yeah. Let's see your headers are about due for another paint job. Do you see the, um... The wrench? Yeah. I knew I was waiting on you to do something with it. you see it? Oh, uh, where'd the wrench go? Where'd the wrench, where'd the wrench, where'd the wrench at? Oh, where, oh, where, how'd it get back here? Did you kick it? I don't know. One round, pass hand one tight. Round. That's how I always, maybe even not a full round, just a little bit. All right, good enough. That's tight. Man. Did you realize that you and Joseph wore the same shirt today? And you got grease on the side of your head. <sighs> what that means is it's a fine shirt, and you can get it at htfmerch.com. Well, I mean, there's several fine shirts that you Yeah, like, like mine I got on here with the flag yeah. on the back. Or, or Jesse's shirt. Or one with a gator yeah, on it. Yeah, gator bait shirt. Got oil in it. All right. Be a good time to crank it. Don't do that. Whatever you do, don't pull the fingers off. No. no. <laughs> That's the last thing. When you, you're going, when you get done with these, you're going to want to get started on that one. It's waiting on you over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mounted and ready to be grooved. You got oil pressure? Hey, wait, don't, don't crank it up yet. Oh! Hey, somebody needs to take out the trash around here. Oh! Yeah. Still sounds good. Sounds good. Pressure oil. Should be good for a win. Should be good. Now, right, you want to try out our new uh, four wheeler over there? Make sure to see how many tires it'll hold. Our buddy Robert Miley at Miley's Garage here in Milton got us hooked up with a push bar and with a tire rack on the back. And see, these you can pull these out. So, if you want to just, you know, have a four wheeler and not have tire racks hanging off, there you go. Right out of the way. Um, well. Show them, show them how it flexes. See, you just, you're gonna want, you see that? <laughs> that just really just absorbs the push there. Uh huh. Mm. Well, I don't know about that, but I think it's just, he said it looks so much like an A frame, a control arm here. It had to have a shock on it. Yeah. That's, we'll see if it does any, any you know, no, it, absorbing. I, that's for just visual purposes yeah, only. It looks cool. Anyway, this will also unbolt right there. You put, you put five tires on it, drive it around the yard. That's what we're doing, and if it'll work. I can't imagine, though, that we'd ever really need five spare tires no. going to the hot pit. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, you long might need a hard tire, or something. You might need a hard tire spare, soft right rear spare, and then spare for everywhere else. And you got to think, too, what if y'all or you and Jesse race back to back like you did the other night, and we got to go to the infield. Yeah. You know what I mean? So more room for tires is better than less. <laughs> So there's our Honda Recon 250. It's not four wheel drive, but it'll get the job done. And as long as you're not trying to go uphill, it'll push your race car fine too. <laughs> and the best thing about this thing though, is that it uh, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space in the trailer that, what is that one that we have over there? The big one, bigger one? Uh, I think that's a four minute. Whatever our other one over there, y'all see right there is a little big. 
and doesn't fit very it, it's a little tight getting it in down between the cabinets in the new trailer and like i said big thank you to robert miley um flow guy here been racing been around racing for a long time and uh, we appreciate him hooking us up with uh, the push bar and the tire racks and two of our new our step oh yeah and i almost forgot he made us a i don't know if y'all were noticing our step previously for the back of the trailer it was about this wide now it's nice and shiny and it's twice as wide so something else robert did for us there anyway the plan is if everything goes well with the street stock this go around this saturday night you know it's three thousand to win so pretty good money um especially be racing here local uh it's also a pretty tough class this area the street stock guys they uh they're pretty stout but if all goes well um everything goes right we're going to take the street stock to why not motorsports park in a few weeks august 13th 14th it's the street stock nationals uh, so the big street stock race up there i think there's like 120 cars already pre-registered so if we survive tomorrow night with it everything goes well with the street stock joseph will be up there racing um at why not the big street stock nationals here in august so, so. two cars again this week over at deep south um got everything pretty much ready to go i think they're gonna get under jesse's car over there and uh, go over it with a fine tooth comb and i think do some setup stuff but other than that we're pretty much ready and we'll be loading up tomorrow or loading up Saturday morning and, and heading over to Deep South. Thank you all for hanging out with us. Um, you can get shirts, hats, hoodies, stickers, all that good stuff over at htfmerch.com. Be sure to leave us a comment and uh, wish us luck. We'll be going racing. Thanks for watching. See y'all later.